and girls, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Today is Monday, April 13th, and today is a very, very rainy day. It's supposed to be rainy and windy all day today. So when I was thinking about what we could do on a rainy, windy day, I thought maybe we could do a story that's a little bit silly. Because on rainy days, sometimes I feel a little maybe a little sad or maybe just a little ho-hum. So I thought it would be wonderful to read a story that might give us a little bit of a laugh. So today we're going to read a story called Duck Soup. And this is a very, very silly story about a duck named Max right there. And Max has decided one day that he is going to make a wonderful soup. And his friends come over to see what type of soup he's making or how he's doing making his soup. And they can't find him anywhere. So his friends think that maybe Max is in the soup. <gasps> oh my goodness. So let's read the story called Duck Soup. <laughs> you ready, Caroline? Okay. This was it. A little pepper, some salt, a little parsley, and potato. Soup! This would be Max's masterpiece. Ooh la la! This is going to be grand! Look, there's Max right there, and there's his soup, and he's adding all of those yummy ingredients. Parsley, potato, salt, pepper. Mm-hmm. Max had made lots of soups before. Fish soup with curry and pickled lemon. Red hot chili soup, squash gumbo, crackle barrel cheese and marshmallow soup, and way, way too many bean soups. He had cooked them all. But every recipe had been created by another chef, not by Max. never had marshmallows in my soup. Have you? No, me neither. Now he was making his own soup that he, Maxwell Duck, would be remembered for inventing. Slurp, slurp, sip. It smells perfect, but the taste is not quite right. Look at his kitchen. Max is a pretty messy baker or cooker, isn't he? He's a pretty messy chef, that's the right word. Max thought it over. A pinch of this, a pinch of that, broccoli, zucchini, chives, that's it! It, it needs an herb from my garden. Just wait, my delicate broth. Max will be back to make you perfecto in uno momento. Max is even speaking like a chef. Oh my goodness, look at that big mess he left behind. Oh goodness, oh, his friends. Smack, the front door slammed shut as Brody, Dakota, and BB walked in. Hmm. Sniff, sniff. Ooh, what smells so good, asked Brody. Max must be cooking again. I hope it's better than last time, said Dakota. Hey, Max, Maxie, where are you, called Brody. We're about to eat your soup, added Dakota. So what's wrong, asked Brody. Taste it already, Dakota. Dakota gasped. <gasps> I think I know where Max went. <gasps> look at the soup right there. Look right in the middle. What does that look like? What do you think it might look like? A feather. It kind of looks like a feather. I think it's just an herb, but I think his friends think it's a duck feather. <gasps> oh no. Goodness, his friends 
think that he is in the soup. <sighs> is he in the soup? No, he's not in the soup. Remember, he just went out to his garden. But his friends don't know that. Call for help, cried BB. There's no time, said Dakota. Max, grab the spoon, yelled Dakota. <laughs> Look, they're putting the spoon in the soup and they're telling Max to grab the spoon so they can pull him out. That won't work, said BB. He can't hear you. Oh my goodness. I know, the strainer. Strainer? The big bowl with the little holes, grab it. Oh, here it is, right here, that's the strainer. Brody hoped that the soup would go down the drain and Max would stay behind. <laughs> ah! It's his head, said BB. Do you think that's his head? Silly, it's only a potato, Brody replied. <gasps> eyeballs! His eyeballs, said BB. Guys, it's only tiny onions, said Brody. <laughs> coming out. His feet, yelled Dakota. Do you think those are his feet? No. What could those be, I wonder? What do you think, Caroline? Yeah. yeah. Calm down, you two. It's only carrot slices, said Brody. Smack. They all looked up as the front door slammed shut. Who could it be? What do you think it is? Who is it, Caroline? You think so? Let's see. It is Max. My soup! Max, Max, Max! Oh, they look pretty happy to see him, don't they? I bet they're feeling a little bit relieved. That night, Max was very quiet over dinner. Cheer up, Max. You're still a great chef, said Irene. And you'll cook your perfect soup someday soon, she said. And it will be great, said Brody. Really great, said BB. Look, what are they having instead of soup? Looks like they're having some pizza. <laughs> we know you're disappointed, said Irene. But at least you're not duck soup. And they all agreed. Even... Max. <laughs> Thank goodness it was a duck soup. That would have been very, very silly. And that was the end of our story called Duck Soup. That is a little bit of a funny story, isn't it? So boys and girls, since we read this story about duck soup today, I thought that maybe we could do a song together. Maybe a little bit of a silly song since our book today was silly, so maybe we should do a silly song too. So today, boys and girls, we have Mr. Thompson who is going to help us sing a funny little duck song. So here's Mr. Thompson over here. Can you say hi to the boys and girls? Hi, boys and girls. So exciting. So, boys and girls, I'm going to move on over here and Caroline's going to come with me. Does this song have a name? I don't know. Just the duck song? Just the duck song. So this is a little bit of a silly song that Mr. Thompson's going to sing for us, and Caroline and I are going to help him a little bit. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, a duck walked up to a lemonade stand, and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, do, do, do. you got any grapes? The man said, no, we just sell lemonade. It's cold, and it's fresh, and it's all homemade. Can I sell you a glass? The duck said, I'll pass. Then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba -da -dum. When the duck walked up to the lemonade stand and he said to the man that was running the stand, Hey, bum, bum, bum. you got any grapes? The man said, no, like I said yesterday, we just sell lemonade, okay? Why not give it a try? The duck said goodbye, and he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. He waddled away. He waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Till the very.
very next day, bum, 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 ba -de -da. when the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man that was running the stand, hey, bum, 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 you got any grapes? The man said, look, this is getting old. Lemonade's all we've ever sold, so why not give it a go? The duck said no, and he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. He waddled away. Waddle, waddle. He waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 when the duck walked up to the lemonade stand, and he said to the man that was running the stand, Hey, bum, bum, bum. you got any grapes? The man said, that's it. If you don't stay away, duck, I'll glue you to a tree and leave you there all day stuck. So don't get too close. The duck said, adios. Then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Then he waddled away. Waddle, waddle. He waddled away. Waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 when the duck walked Standing, said to the man that was running the stand, Hey, bum, 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 you got any glue? What? You got any glue? No, why would I? Oh, then one more question for you. You got any grapes? And the man just stopped. And he started to smile. And then he started to laugh. He laughed for a while. Then he said, come on, duck. Let's walk to the store. I'll buy you some grapes if you don't have to ask anymore. So they walked to the store and the man bought some grapes. He offered one to the duck. And the duck said, no thanks. So you know what sounds good? It would make my day. Do you think this store? Do you think this store? Do you think this store has any lemonade? Then he waddled away. Then he waddled away. And he waddled away. And he waddled away. I thought that was a very silly song. So we read our funny story called Duck Soup today. We listened to our very funny little duck song. And boys and girls, I'm even going to, when I send out an email to your special grown-ups, I'm going to send them a link because there's a cute little YouTube video that goes along with that song that I think you all will love. So thank you very much for singing with us. High five. Woo. Caroline, thanks for singing with us. High five. Oh, thank you too for helping us. Awesome. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful rest of this your rainy Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. I miss you. Bye.